What's up guys, my name's Brandon, and a little bit earlier than expected, Apple has just released the first public beta of iOS 14. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get the beta running on your device for free. And this is going to work with any iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch that was able to run iOS 13. Now, if you installed the iOS 14 developer profile on your main device, I would recommend switching over to the public beta and I'll talk more about how to do that later on in this video. But this tutorial is going to be very straightforward and very easy. I'm gonna show you once again how to get iOS 14 public beta running on your device. So the first thing you guys wanna do is go ahead to Safari and you wanna to go to beta.apple.com. And if you don't wanna type that in, I will have it linked down in the description below. But anyways, once you get to this page, you will see it says Apple Beta Software Program. You'll see iOS 14, iPad OS 14, Mac OS Big Sur, tvOS 14, and also Watch OS 7. But this video is mainly about iOS 14 and iPad OS 14. So we're gonna go ahead and click on this blue sign up button right there. And then you'll need to sign in to your Apple ID. Go ahead and click on continue. Scan your face if you have Face ID or Touch ID set up. And then you'll be brought to this page right here where you have an agreement that you need to agree to. So just go ahead all the way down and click on accept. And then you'll see we get this page right here where it says guide for public betas. And you wanna make sure that if you're on iOS, you have the iOS button right here selected. If you're on an iPad, make sure you have iPad OS selected right there. But once again, we're doing iOS in this video. So we're gonna go ahead and scroll down and then keep scrolling until you see the get started section right here. This is where you want to click on the only link in that paragraph where it says enroll your iOS device. Go ahead and click on that. And then you will see this right here. And it basically runs you through exactly what you should do. And normally what I would tell you in a tutorial, but since it's right here, I'm not gonna really spend too much time on it. But first things first, you guys wanna make sure that you have an iCloud or an iTunes backup as of like today or yesterday, a very recent backup. Go into your settings. If you don't know how to do that, go into settings, go into your iCloud account, go to iCloud, scroll down until you get to iCloud backup, and then go ahead and do a backup now before you start attempting to install the iOS 14 public beta. You will thank me later. You can lose data. It's not very likely, but it is a possibility. So you wanna make sure that you have your device backed up. All right, so it just talks about that there. Then you have this section right here where it says install profile. And this is where you wanna click on the download profile button right here. You'll get this prompt right here. Just go ahead and click on allow, go to close, click on this little notification right there. And sometimes it may not work. So just go back to your settings and you will see up top in settings, it says profile downloaded, go ahead and tap on that. Then you'll see it says iOS 14 and iPad OS 14 beta software. This is the profile. So go ahead and click on install. You're gonna have to enter in your passcode. Once you enter in your passcode, you will have the consent message right here. Just go ahead and click on install, install one more time and then done. And there you go. You now have the iOS 14 public beta profile installed. Now we wanna go over to software updates and you will see we have iOS 14. Right now it says public beta two, but this is the first public beta. I'm not sure why it's called public beta two, but now you have that and you can go ahead and download and install it. Now, if this does not populate for you right away, you may have to restart your device. So make sure you restart your device. You also wanna make sure that you have enough storage space available to actually install the updates. So go into your iPhone storage and just make sure you have like, you know, five to six gigabytes at least available so that you can install the update easily. And then it will start installing the profile. As you guys saw, it was around four gigabytes on my iPhone 10 here, but that size will vary depending on your device. And once again, it will probably take a while to download and install. So make sure it is on a charger, make sure you are connected to Wi-Fi and just let it be for a little while until the update is installed. And also just know that since you are on a beta software, not every application will work. So some of your bank applications may not work. You know, Pokemon Go is not going to work. You're gonna have issues with applications just because this is a beta software and not every developer has updated their applications yet. Now also once you install the beta profile, you will notice that you get a new icon on your springboard called the feedback application. That is the application you guys need to use to report any bugs that you face with iOS 14 public beta. So if you have an application crash, if the keyboard is messing up, if you have any kind of glitches or any kind of bugs, make sure to report them inside of the feedback application so that they can get fixed. And of course, with iOS 14 comes hundreds of new features and changes, a lot of great changes to the home screen, to the call UI, to just so many different things. If you guys wanna check out all those new features, I will leave my videos linked down in the description below and also up in the cards, up in the top right of this video. Make sure to check those out so you know what you're doing when you get iOS 14 installed on your device. Actually, while you're installing it, would be a good time to go watch those videos so you guys can see 
what you're in for. Now, I also want to address a question I've been asked a lot over on my Discord server, on Twitter, on YouTube, everywhere, and that is, should you switch from the developer beta profile to the public beta profile? And I say yes, especially if it's on your main device. If you're installing the beta on your main device, you should absolutely be using the public beta and not the developer beta. And even if it's not your main device, I still recommend the public beta to most people. Now, if you want to switch from the developer profile to the public beta profile, all you need to do is go to your settings and then go to general and then go down to profile and then you'll see the developer profile right here you want to tap on that and then go to remove profile so that you can remove the developer profile and then follow this video from the start to install the public beta profile on your device and then if you were on the developer beta 2 Public beta one is going to be the same as developer beta two in terms of the build number. So if you had developer beta two installed, you will not see the first public beta, you know, populate on your device because you already have it technically on your device. So you'll see public beta two, or I guess public beta three, since for some reason they're calling this public beta two right off the rip. So I guess public beta three will be the same as developer beta three. So I guess now it kind of makes more sense and is less confusing when the public beta is the same number as the developer beta. I'm not sure if that's what they're doing or if it's just this first one, we will see, uh, but that is how you switch from the developer profile to the public beta profile. And by the way, I do also wanna mention that you will get future public betas populated on your device automatically. You won't have to install a new profile every time a new beta comes out, they will automatically populate inside of software update when those betas come out. So no need for another profile for another year with iOS 14. You only have to install a new profile when it's the next major version. So the next time you'll have to update or install a new profile is for iOS 15 public beta. So just wanted to address that since I know people have asked me before if they need a new profile for a new beta. But anyways, guys, there you have it. I hope you got iOS 14 up and running on your device. If you did, I would appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up. And of course, make sure you guys do subscribe so you see all future new features and changes included in iOS 14. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.